Okay, we're in Maricopa, the city of Maricopa, Arizona. Not in Maricopa County, it's in the county of Penal. And we're at the Amtrak station. Don't even think about it, Connor. So we've got a couple things we're going to check. And we're headed for Springfield, Massachusetts. And the train's running late. But we should see it within the next half hour or so. We'll come back as we start this adventure on our way to Springfield, Massachusetts. This train goes into New Orleans, splits, then heads for Chicago. We stay in our bedroom until Chicago, and then we get on the second train eight hours later and head east. So, okay, here comes the train. I don't think it's ours, it might be a freight. Hard telling. Going pretty slow, might be ours. I believe it's Amtrak. We're a little late. Nice sunrise, a little red sky. What's nice is no sound whatsoever. So we're in this bedroom. It is small. I think they call this a family Mama. room. Hey. <laughs> this is nice. You like this counter? <laughs> kind of. Kind of? Oh, yeah. We're kind it's of coming around now. It's a nice bar at the beginning when you're looking on the, the thigh. I hate it. I hate that noise. The brakes? Hey, Kaka. Can I use your computer? No, not now. <laughs> We're about 40 minutes behind schedule, so let's see if he hits the desert and doesn't just try to make up some speed here. Now we've got the motion. Also keep one hand freezing and hold on to the seat backs for stability. 
We just acquired uh, Tucson, uh, Maricopa, I'm sorry. We just we're headed east right now, but we're going to turn south here pretty quick, go down to Tucson. Tucson, Arizona. Once again, we departed Maricopa, and our next station stop coming up here in approximately hour and 20 minutes. We'll be in Tucson, Arizona. Thank you. You don't get the clickety clack anymore with the welded track. So we're going to be leaving the Valley of the Sun here pretty quick. As the sun just starts coming up above the horizon. Okay, we just left Tucson. We're kind of sneaking around in this valley. Yeah. Every once in a while we can see our locomotive. There he goes. A lot of cactus, a lot of new growth on the cactus. Going under somebody else's railroad. Winter in the desert. Oh, that's our guy coming back. You guys make it on all right? Yeah. yeah. Y'all comfy back here? Yeah.
kind of a different view. They're not, but kind of remind me of the old scrub oaks. Pacifics? Yeah, that's what's down here. Norfolk Southern Union Pacific, you see Ferromax, what's why I see Canadian Pacific. I gotta get rid of this film, I gotta find it. I wanna get a picture of this guy's shirt when he walks back. Take a minute. Because I don't always stop and look at trains. Yeah. What's the bottom say? Oh, yes, I do, or something like that. Oh, oh wait, I yes, I do. <laughs> no matter where you go, you're going to find somebody that's into this. Yeah. See, look at that's what amazes me, sir. Fueling dump. Uh, yeah, and I mean, they're just an old BNSF. So it's like minus seven degrees, and these old boys are out there. There's an old bucket. Yeah, yeah. These, these old boys are out there grinding and welding in the uh, minus four degree weather. Did you see back there, like near Benz or something, there was a Missouri Pacific transfer caboose? No, I didn't. Yeah. It was, uh, you know, that mauve green, that just kind of a light green color they paint the mauve car. I think it was painted that. I, we went by it and I went, like, oh my God, they're a transfer for those? I didn't even know what those were until about a year and a half ago. No, I don't even And all of a sudden they started selling them. Blueford, that one. Yeah, Blueford. Blueford. Yeah. I bought two of the Rock Islands. Like, I need two of them. I need one of them, but I just, I just decided well, to buy two. Well, are they, are they so, the, there's a platform on each end, yeah. so no matter which way you're going, the guys can. Yeah, absolutely. I just bought three of those, those BNSF coil cars. But the truth is, Rock Island built their own. They, they modified an old caboose and turned it into one, so the ones they sold are nothing like the Rock Island, but again. Yeah. <laughs> who knows, who cares, you know? Yeah. You gotta transfer a caboose. I, so I just, what were they used for? I mean, what were? Work. They, they take them out and working when they're working on the railroad. They'd have this on part of the work train, and they like they work from either end, so they could be shucking cars or moving track or whatever they had to do. So I guess so. Uh, yeah. I didn't I didn't know why they call them a transfer caboose. I never figured out why they were use the word transfer. I don't know what the hell they're transferring. If you have checked baggage, folks, just head through the front of the depot. You will see a clean baggage uh, sign on the wall. That's oh. the area where the bags are going to be delivered. Just give us a few minutes. That was the wall, and it's. Uh, if you're continuing service with us, we'll give you an opportunity. And there's to buy the road the they can drive right on in on. Yeah, have a small <laughs> break. And if you're going to smoke, please do so at least 20 feet from any open door. Yeah. On the east side now, a lot of coil cars and green cars. They look like you coil cars. Coil car. <laughs> yeah. So what do they got in them? Ah, uh, sheep. Yeah, that jump bucket. Yeah. Little hard. Yeah. Some track work. Union Pacific guys working their tails off with their hands in the pockets. Yeah. It's their mandatory 15 minute break. Yeah, every hour. Boeing, we call them our Boeing gloves. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of equipment in here. 
Looks like they're putting in a lot of new rail around here too, it looks like. Yeah, we'll turn this back on if we see anything better coming up. A little different scenery now. We're on some track that's really, really rough. Okay, the sun's kind of going down on our first day. It's 6.15 Central Time. We left Mountain Time some time ago. So we've been up since 4 o'clock this morning. So it's been a long day. Connor took a long nap. We get done eating in about a half an hour. He's going to have to come back down and do homework. <laughs> but as you can see, we're losing our sunshine. So we'll see if we get a night shot later. Okay, we just took a short stop in Temple, Texas. Looks like they have a repair yard here. I can know Santa Fe, a couple of Santa Fe's. We got some newer Burlington Northern, so it's active. I'm guessing this is the Burlington Northern Yard. So now it's the 23rd of January, and we're still en route to New Orleans. Those guys look brand new. And we're on the road. Quite a bit of equipment up here. Then we're going to come by a yard right out here in Temple, Texas. This is our railroad experience. Connor is still asleep. Little graffiti. Bunch of ballast. Then a bunch of Texas brush. It is an active yard. A lot of lumber over there on some of those cars. But we're just about running out of view. So, welcome to Fort Worth, Texas. We're going to stop here for just a little bit and then head on over to the Big D, Dallas. So, kind of zoom in on their skyline a little bit. Part of it. And we're going to sit here when we get to the station for 40 minutes. Ta da! Whatever that is. A lot of artwork. Nice, huh? Okay, there's our locomotive up there. Just barely seen. A little bit better shot of Fort Worth. Get a little bit better perspective of the size of the city. When we stop, I'm going to go upstairs so I have a better view out of the best of you car and uh, we'll see what we see. Okay, on the other side we've got a coal train sitting there waiting for its turn to hit the tracks. We just passed a whole bunch of uh, Amtrak engines. 
and I'm guessing we're pulling into the station which will probably be back on the other side who knows but you've seen one coal chain you've seen them all I think it's not really a yard from the looks of it, just a few tracks. There's some more on the other side of the coal train. I can't tell how many, I can just barely see them one set. That's cool. <laughs> Okay. Okay, now we are in the station. We've got another train sitting beside us. Like I say, we're going to be here for approximately 40 minutes. 35 now, I think, so we will see. Station in and only then head to your car downstairs using the handrails as come downstairs and exit the train. After we make a complete stop at stations. Now those who are traveling through pay close attention. Now Dallas is a smoke stop. He tried to get off the train, stretch the legs, smoke a cigarette. Part of it anyway. I didn't get over here as soon as I wanted to and I'm Trying to stand up, not doing too good at it. So let's back this off, make it easier. And we're at the Amtrak station, I do believe. Just a million people in here. And it's their commuter stop too, so. Well, if you like mirrors, this building has a few. I have no idea what this is. If I look really hard, I could probably see me. But what a neat picture than this tower and some kind of a restaurant I'm guessing up there way up high elevator in the center I'm sure but how neat so goodbye Dallas Texas Well, we're still in Texas. I'm not sure where, but uh, well above uh, Dallas Fort Worth now. I think we got into Texas last night around midnight. Central Standard Time. It's now 5:30 Central Standard Time, and we're still in Texas. We made a couple stops. Spent 40 minutes in uh, Fort Worth, and probably close to 30 minutes in Dallas. But other than that, the stops have been really, really short. One was probably less than a minute. Nobody got off, nobody got on. They just had to make a, a stop. We've seen a lot of water. They've had rain in this part of Texas lately. A couple rivers we've seen are uh, full to the bank. And we've seen like marsh along the uh, track areas where the water got in. I don't know if we'll see any while we're filming right here or not, but uh, I'm going to keep an eye out for it. We're coming into a town and I think we're making our stop. So we're an hour and a half out of Dallas now. This will be our first stop. And I'm not sure the name of the town, but we'll see it on the Amtrak sign, wherever that is. It must be on the other side. Diddy.
Where are we at, boy? I don't know. You don't know? We're in Texas, though, so, huh? Why is there hangers in here with this literally no closet? Well, because they don't have closets, they just have hangers. But see, they got a strap. See that strap? That lets you pull the clothes over. Oh, so they're contained. Oh, right. They put the hangers down there for a reason. That's how they set it up for the person that's going to be in here. Okay. Somebody said it's supposed to go up here. Or yeah, go up. yeah, the hangers up on that, that pipe, don't they? This thing right here, look. Look. You see a pretty gazebo up here. Well, he blew his horn once. It should have been twice, but we're on our way. This is my America. My flag. The Texas flag, of course, the state of Texas is still a republic. They could fly their flag at the same heights if they wanted. But I think they're just showing respect. I don't know for sure if he said Video Texas, Presidio Texas. I'll have to look somewhere later because I think we'd already gone past the uh, station because we're in the second car. And there's nobody getting on or off here. We're going to see an old caboose here in a second. From the Texas Pacific Railway. I'm looking for the proverbial water tower. And not uh, seeing it. I even know you're moving in the So we're on our way again, and I'm going to keep looking for water. Still running along the old Santa Fe line. So we'll kick this back on a little bit when we're not getting so much reflection. There we go. A little bit right there. Okay, they must have had some rain because we're seeing, I'm sure, water this time of year you wouldn't see. It's kind of quick, huh? And yeah, we've lost focus. Makes me dizzy. Getting in on the end of this stuff, it looks like. I'm just going to leave it on for a few minutes so we can get some more water here. There we go. It's got to be unusual for this part of the world, part of the country. But we are smoking. We're probably going about 70, 75 miles an hour. We've been along the highway where they're going 70 and we're going around them, and these are Texans. And I don't think they ever drive the speed limit. We got things to do and places to go. Enough of this, I'm getting dizzy. Okay, day three. We're in the land of Lincoln. We just left Covington Normal, Illinois. And we're en route to the last destination for this train, which is Chicago. But eventually we'll be going into Rockford, Illinois, which uh, has a family connection. My great uncle Tom Bostead, my grandfather's brother, one of his two brothers, was chief of police in Rockford for decades. And he's been gone now, oh my gosh, I think he passed away in the 70s. Fun guy, always had a pug or a bulldog. Strange thing is, typically, this time of year, January, of uh, especially late January, it's, it's the coldest time. The ponds are frozen over, a couple of the rivers are moving, but there's no snow. That is really rare. So the weather patterns have changed. Maybe it's global warming, maybe it's just what the planet does every couple hundred thousand years. And, we just don't know any better because it used to do this long before man so we'll see so enough for now okay the reason i stopped here this is the sleeping car the one we're in and what do you know it's the iowa so we're going to go ahead and try not to fall down and we are in car 2230 
set up here are the bedrooms. These are what we'll be in on the next leg of our trip. Oh, I hope so. Well, that's our waiter. <laughs> Hi. Ah. Okay, this is more like it. Came to the back of the train. And we got snow here. It looks a lot colder than where we were a little while ago. So between Juliet and Rockford, heading for Chicago. Those crossovers can really get you. Especially the last car on the back set of trucks. Oh, that is enough. Okay, we're getting a little bit closer to Rockford. We've had snow here. Maybe lately. We had rain back on the other side of Juliet. We're getting closer to Lake Michigan, obviously. Just to the north of us, heading down towards Chicago. I see a reflection on the other side, unfortunately, you can't get away from that, no matter what side I go on. Uh, find enough of these woods, we should get out of the woods here pretty quick and get more into what I would suppose agricultural. We'll have to see. This is but quite a bit of real activity. Grain and oil looks like. Wow, that's a long point product. Still west of Rockford. Just crossed a couple diamonds. Now we're gonna have a track and join us. and I saw a Canadian National locomotive in here. That might be who this is. I started getting this close to Chicago. They got the largest rail yard in the world and a tremendous amount of commerce. They can barge out on the Great Lakes all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. Of course, they can barge in as well. They get a tremendous amount of chain activity here especially in the main yards, and that's what this whole trip's about, is trains from Gilbert, Arizona to Springfield, Massachusetts. Pretty good sized yard. seeing the skyline way back there. I don't know if that's the Sears Tower or what it is. 
Crash the target way off in the distance. Chicago. I guess we don't stop in Rockford. We're way too close now. Missed it. There's a better view of the downtown. Most of it. Can't possibly see it all. But. A little hazy today. But hello, Chicago. Okay, it's, uh, it's Thursday, it's the last uh, day of our train ride, we're getting ready to go to the diner, we're in New York State, we got some snow on the ground, and it looks really, really cold out there, I don't see any sign of thawing. Got a ways to go. So, we're going to head to the diner and then uh, come back, relax, and 5.30 we'll be able to get off in Springfield, Massachusetts, and start the adventure there. Are you on the hot dog? Got it. What's the town we're in right now? Do you know? Hmm? What town are we in right now? Uh, oh, yeah, you know where that? Sorry, you know where we are. You just left. You're leaving Utica. 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 Utica, New York. Hi. Okay. Hi. What do you want? I'll have to just ask you right back with it, okay? Okay, okay thank you. Okay. I thought you had vanished. Bring that old F unit, Connor. What? Old RS3. Everything here is like one dish. Every train. Oh, okay, thanks. No thanks. Oh, that's nice. Look at you picking your nose. I'm not doing this. Alright, watch your class. This is how to drip it when you do this. This is how to drip it when you're picking your nose. Mohawk? So this is how you drink people, like, this is how you drink people, picking it up. There's a little stuff in here. I don't know what's in here. Well, how's your trip going, Mother? Right, 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 right. Real good, so far, so good. I haven't been too scared. Yeah, that's right. I have a little bit. Had a little trouble with the uh, train shaking during the night. Yeah. Not last night, but the night before. So this is the future. Thursday. Oh, so first we went to the bus. It's all I said. It's all I said to eat, too. You slept good, didn't you? Oh, yeah. See, we could have brought one. Yeah, you have to get a bottle and have a little bit. Right down the Say goodbye. Say goodbye. I don't know which river this is, but you can see it was quite a bit higher at one time and it's gone down. You can see the layers of ice out here where it's gone down. It has flow. Partial anyway. Looks like it's going to flow and join a much, much larger river. So we'll see. That's my hand, <laughs> the reflection. That's terrible. Well, let's see what we see up here. Well, 
look like the river is down about two feet or better. Maybe more than that. Kind of a strange transition. <clears throat> We've had ice all the way across the river here, though. There's no ice. Yes. Then we hit the main channel and it is ice packed. That is something. And we are going slow. You can see how the ice is formed over here now. So just this one little area where there's no ice. But, but out there, it's all oh, ice. Oh, um, now there's no water. There's no water anymore. Nope. Yeah, no more water. We need no food. Just ice, huh? Ice with Dave. The two ice things just came together. The two ice. The two pieces of ice came together. Yeah. Hey, there's a little bit of water there. Take a little nope, nope. The river was up at least two feet above what it is right now. You can see down on the bank where the ice is falling down. Oh, there's more water. You see it up on the trees and at least two feet. Pretty well flooded at one time. Way out of its bank. Pretty little chunks of ice. Wow. Don't see much of that in Arizona, do you, Connor? What? You don't see much rivers with ice in them in Arizona, do you? Yeah. Got everybody out of the pool. We're getting close to Schenectady, New York. You gotta love these street lights. For those of us who like to model railroading with old type lights, that's what they really look like. I've got a bunch of them. Stopped. Okay, we're coming into Albany, New York, the capital of the state of New York. A lot of church spires. I don't know if we'll see the uh, Capitol building or not. In here, never been here before. So we'll see. Across another river, I have no idea what it is. I can look it up on a map later, I guess, but it's frozen. Big slabs of ice out there. Somebody's yard, but I have no idea whose, but a lot, of, a lot of rail. I can't see a name on the locomotives over there. Several tracks. Looks like a locomotive shop.
Amtrak. Ta -da. That's who it is. They got one coming out. Big chunks of ice on rocks along the tracks here. Give us any more or not. We're going so fast it's hard to make it out. Stuff we saw up in the Cascades when we lived in Washington State. And the railroads have to contend with it because if it gets too thick, it comes out and hits the trains, and it will win. It's harder than the trains. There's an old tunnel. So I don't know if we're still in New York or Massachusetts or where we are. We're uh, now we're out of Springfield, wherever that would put us. And we're seeing more and more snow as we go. It's really kind of hard to see, but there are areas here where this water was up another four feet from where it is right now. And it's left chunks of ice two feet thick. Let's see if we can get up here and see the river again. What do you want? A lot more snow here than where we were seeing earlier. But the streams are flowing, so it's warmed up. <clears throat> Somewhat. That's just the backwater there. Actually, this is the river, and look at the ice. It's jammed up down here. So they've had some cold weather. They've had a lot of moisture. We've seen a lot of rivers that were out of their banks earlier. And you can see where the ice was up in the trees and on the islands. And we've got a fan making a lot of noise. Anyway, it's getting dark, but I just thought I'd try and give a picture of that if we made it or not, don't know.